Hello, it is I, Wilson Sherrill, the jester of junk, bringing you a video for the first time ever on Missouri Motors YouTube channel. And um, this video today is encompassing my journey through um, replacing the shift bushings on my 94 Ford Escort LX. Uh, I've owned two Escorts total. Both of them have had horrible shift bushings. This one definitely taking the uh, taking the win. And um, honestly, I thought it was going to be pretty tough, but it turned out to be pretty easy. So um, starting off, we have a couple of clips showcasing pretty much how bad the problem was and why I should have definitely, definitely got a change. Uh, shift pattern on this old girl. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and uh, neutral. Yeah, yeah. If I can manage to not stall it on the way across. Bruh, hurry the f*** up. Long here. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I thought I was going to first, but I went to third and I was like, oh, I'm like, Yeah, you're like, bruh. Oh <laughs> yeah, you're like, bruh. <laughs> we, I literally said, what if I stall it in the middle? And then oh, I look god. over there and start coming and go, oh. Like <laughs> Jumping straight into the fix, um, you can see that there's that one nut there with a bolt. Once that was off, I had trouble a couple days ago getting the bolt off, and I was wondering if there's any sort of special procedure, but it turns out you just have to coax it out if need be. I used some handy dandy old as dirt channel locks to hammer it out. Definitely the correct usage of a channel lock plier. A lot of people say you have to drop the heat shield and the exhaust in order to get to the back bolt for the other part of the shift rod. However, I didn't have any wrenches on hand that were small enough to get the heat shield bolts out. And even if I did do that, the exhaust was so rusted on that I probably couldn't have even gotten it off. So I just got grabbed some extensions and grabbed some, uh, my good old 10 millimeter socket that I still haven't lost and popped it on there, came right off, tapped it through, and it dropped out. One of the pins that holds the front part of the U-joint onto the shift rod actually doesn't come out. And I think it's been done like that from the factory. And those are supposed to have bronze bushings in there. Now, since, since you can't take it out, you can't put bushings in it. So I devised a plan to merely chop my rubber bushings into pieces, cut a slit in them, and slip them over the rod as shown here. And for the most part, it worked pretty good. There's still a little bit of play, which I'm not really happy with, but it's a $400 car. What else can you ask for? So, reverse of everything you saw me do in the first part, and you pretty much have good to go Ford Escort shift bushings. Now, I had actually never ever been in a Ford Escort where the shift bushings were good. I didn't really even know the shift pattern, which is why I'm pretty excited as to uh, how tight the shifting is in this video. Third, fifth, holy, that's tight. Oh my god, <laughs> I am absolutely appalled that that is the shift pattern of a Ford Escort. I was thinking huge long shifts. These aren't bad at all. It goes right back to the center. Wow, first, damn, how cool is that? Barely any play. Yeah, third and fourth are kind of still wonky. Might be in the transmission. Wow, that is that is amazing. I, I am absolutely blown away by that. I did not expect that at all. And for those of you who want to see all 88 horsepower cranking away right at the max and some Momo behind the wheel, there you go. Well, that does it for this video. If you didn't like it, don't like it. If you did like it, 
please like it and be sure and leave a comment and give me some feedback on this because this is my first time doing this and I'd really like to know if it's going good, bad, or ugly. So uh, see you on the next one.